A terrifying rapture sign in Jordan reveals his return. The discovery of a mysterious lagoon close to the Dead Sea has terrified the locals in Jordan and Israel. What shocking discoveries have been made in the Dead Sea? Also, what exactly makes this discovery a portent of the end of the world? In this video, we're going to tell you about the discovery in Jordan that reveals the end of this world. Stay tuned to find out if the rapture is here. What is the Dead Sea? Located in the Jordan Rift Valley is the massive Endorheic Lake known as the Dead Sea, sometimes known as the Salty Sea. An Endorheic Lake is a lake that forms inside a drainage basin rather than draining into a river or the ocean. Some of the greatest lakes in the world are located in what are known as closed or terminal basins. These include the Caspian Sea, the largest inland body of water in the world. The word dead in the name of the Dead Sea does not exactly make it sound like a destination worth visiting. However, you may be surprised to learn that, despite its name, the Dead Sea is a well-known body of water on the planet, revered as a legendary spring of life due to its miraculous healing and capabilities. Where exactly is this mysterious ocean? The Dead Sea is located between Jordan and Israel on the enormous African-Syrian divide. Only one major river enters the Dead Sea, and that is the Jordan, or River Jordan. Despite the presence of periodic springs beneath and around the Dead Sea, which leads to the development of quicksand pits along the sea shores, these springs drain directly into the sea. The Dead Sea in Red Dead Sea water quality, once pristine, is deteriorating. In Jordan, researchers have discovered a mysterious lagoon that is disturbingly crimson and is located close to the Dead Sea. Local experts and the general populace alike are completely taken aback. There's been a lot of talk about the blood-red seas on social media and with good reason. This phenomenon was one of the ten plagues God sent to Pharaoh in the Old Testament to free the Jews from slavery. Many have seen this as a possible portent of the end times predicted in Revelation 16.4. Should we consider the possibility that this biblical prediction is coming true? Are we witnessing the end of days at this moment? Or is it just some weird natural occurrence? Discover the horrifying find in Jordan that defies logic with us. With its therapeutic effects, the Dead Sea is a natural wonder located between the Rocky Mountains of Jordan and the undulating hills of Israel. It is one of the world's oldest lakes, with a history that dates back around 4 million years. As the lowest point on Earth, its surface is located more than 400 meters below sea level. The Dead Sea is unique, but not simply because of its depth. For millennia, the Dead Sea's hypersaline waters have captivated visitors to the region. The Dead Sea is fed by the Jordan River, a 251-kilometer-long river that runs through the Sea of Galilee and into the Dead Sea, containing ten times as much salt as regular seawater. Indeed, the moniker Dead Sea originates from the fact that no marine life, including fish, can endure its waters. Because of the high salt content, the water has a distinctive buoyancy that makes it easy for individuals to float on its surface. Emerging Truths About the Ocean Throughout history, the Dead Sea has been known by a variety of names. Numbers 34.3, Ezekiel 47.8, and Isaiah 66.25 all refer to it as the Salt Sea, while the Bible also calls it the Sea and the Eastern Sea, in Joel 2.20. Past names for this body of water include Sea of Asphalt, Stinking Sea, and Devil Sea. It's hard to imagine now, but this area was once as lush and beautiful as the Garden of Eden because of plentiful water. The fertile land around Sodom and Gomorrah was turned into a barren wasteland as a result of God's judgment, Genesis 13.10, Deuteronomy 29.23. Scripture Reference Zephaniah 14.8 On that day, Jerusalem will become a fountain of living streams, with one half flowing to the eastern sea and the other to the western sea. As in the winter, it will continue in the summer. Second Proverbs 10.18 And the Syrians fled before Israel, 
while David killed 700 charioteers and 40,000 horsemen and wounded Shobach, the commander of the Syrian army, to the point where he died. The Book of Ezekiel, chapters 40 through 48, 35. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he led me to the city in the 25th year of our exile, on the 10th day of the first month, the 14th year after the city was thrown down. God took me to Israel in my dreams, where he dropped me off atop a mountain, where there was a building that looked like a city, with its entrance facing south. When we arrived, I saw a bronze-looking man holding a measuring reed and a length of linen rope, and there he was at the entrance. The guy then said to me, Son of man, see with your eyes, hear with your ears, and believe in your heart all that I shall show you for you were sent here so that I might show it to you. Tell the Israelites all you see. The man had a measuring reed that was six long cubits in length, with each cubit being a cubit and a handbreadth in length. The wall that surrounded the temple area was also this long. This led him to conclude that the wall was one reed thick and one reed high. Scripture Reference Isaiah 53, 1-12 who among them has put stock in what we've said? So, to whom has the Lord revealed his mighty arm? For before him he sprouted like a seedling, like a root uprooted from the parched earth. He lacked shape or majesty for us to regard him and beauty for us to seek him out. All mankind detested and rejected him. He was a man of sadness and familiar with grief, a man from whom men hid their faces. We held him in contempt and disdain, and yet we counted him as one who was stricken by God, one who was struck down. But he took the punishment that brought us peace by being pierced for our offenses and crushed for our sins, and he bore the wounds that made us whole. NLT, Revelation 16.3 The second angel then emptied his bowl into the water, which turned into blood. As a result, all marine life perished. So what does Revelation 16.3 mean? When the second angel pours his bowl full of sludge into the ocean, it turns into a rotting blob. The ocean is compared to a corpse's blood in this poem. Given the specificity of the reference, the author must be thinking of a specific deceased person. When something bad happens to water, it takes on the characteristics of the fluids present in a dead body. Everything in the ocean perishes as a result. The second bowl judgment is more extensive than the first. The terminology employed here says it may poison all marine bodies of water. When God smote ancient Egypt with plagues, he transformed the Nile into blood. Exodus 7, 19-21 What's more, the second bowl judgment is harsher than the second trumpet judgment, which converted a third of the ocean into the blood and wiped out a third of marine life. Revelation 8, 8 through 9. The seal judgments appear to be enlarged by the trumpet judgments, and the trumpet judgments appear to be enlarged by the bowl judgments. The intensity of the evaluations increases with each new set. The final act will occur when Jesus returns to earth to snare the beast and the false prophet and throw them into the lake of fire. The seafaring and fishing businesses of the beast will be severely damaged by this verdict. This ruling would have far-reaching implications for more than just business. Weather and precipitation can be significantly altered by even a little shift in oceanic waters. Not only that, but if everything in the oceans died, the globe would lose a major source of nutrition. Furthermore, the majority of the oxygen we breathe comes from plants that live in the ocean. If marine life were to vanish, it would be the first domino and a domino effect that would lead to the end of all life on Earth. This ends the video for today. Multiple signs on this planet Earth reveals that the end is very near and he is descending soon too. What are your views regarding this? Let us know in the comments section. Also tell us on which topic we should make our next video. Like and share this video. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video.